What up everybody, it's your boy Plug and Play coming at you with one more video. As promised, the DLC 1 Resistance trailer breakdown. I took a look at this thing frame by frame. I'm going to go ahead and play it back for you now. And I'm going to go ahead and stop it at things that I thought were very interesting. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First thing you guys are going to notice is your princess is in another castle. Whether you saved him or whether you didn't save him in the final right, guys, he died. But apparently not dead here we see klaus tied up in chains being tortured in the resistance just like in bavaria you have arrived late to the party when is the last time you guys ever seen a dried up skeleton that had its tongue. I don't know why it still has a tongue and why is it so god awful bright red, but I guarantee you there's more to the story here on this tongue in the skeleton. I've been storing my children here. And I'm really, really hoping that this scene shows us working together with the Ninja Turtles to fight Shredder and keep him from stealing the ooze that turned us into the Ninja Turtles. I'm really, really hoping that that is Ninja Turtle ooze. Wet rules of this islands for years. In this frame right here, guys, we can see a zombie coming out of this giant hole, and it appears that it has a sword or some kind of blade coming out of its head. And we see it again just a few frames later. You can clearly see the left hand up in the upper left hand corner, the right hand down below. And then up in the right hand corner, you can see that very long blade again. And from the angle, it definitely looks like it's coming from the upper torso or the head of this assassin type of zombie. Over here. Oh, shit. And you heard it here first, guys. I am going to go ahead and spoil it for you. Our secret character will be Sergeant Schultz from Hogan's Heroes. That's right, you can tell by the insignia on the helmet right there, it is an exact match. So definitely looking forward to shooting the famous Sergeant Schultz here in the DLC 1 Resistance. Now this scene right here is important guys, I did about an hour's worth of research on World War II era fighter planes and bombers and I could not find any planes and I know an hour does not make me an expert by any means, but this plane obviously at this scene right here has a triple blade propeller, single propeller plane, two engines mounted on the wing with gun attachments. The only plane in the World War II arsenal of all the countries is the P-51 Mustang. Um, but that plane was not used at this time and it didn't have those specs. So you can speculate all you want on this one, but I think this plane was made for the game. This scene right here is also very important, guys. We have a black dude, bald head, and a leather jacket. And we know from right here that that is Jefferson Potts from the Final Reich, who appears to be mounting these anti-aircraft guns in an attempt to shoot down the planes. So, yes, you can confirm that those planes are probably not good for you. They are probably out to kill you or do you damage. Maybe they're trying to obliterate the island and you're trying to save something on the island before that happens. You are in the business of recovering and rescuing stolen art and artifacts, so maybe you're trying to save something before the island is destroyed, but this is definitely Jefferson trying to stop the planes from attacking this island. This island is a place rich with the history of dead gods. Now, this particular scene jumped out at me right away, guys. You might have watched my earlier video, the reaction to the trailer. I was super excited about the comment about the dead gods and the myths on this island. 
And that led me back to a previous video I made. You can see here there are many gods and goddesses that were worshipped on this island back in the medieval times. Some of them, as you can see here, were depicted holding horned skulls or the skulls of horned animals, goats, or other mythical creatures. But in my research into making this video tonight, I also stumbled across a myth on this island involving a golden horn that was disassembled. Uh, back in the medieval times and it was an ornamental horn used for worship I'm gonna put a picture up here on the screen you can see and the myth surrounding this thing is that it was broken up into different pieces and was reassembled by um, ancient gods and ancient creatures uh, because it was an ornamental piece that was important to one of the gods um, so this could be one of the artifacts that you might be searching for on this island I don't know that's all speculation and, and guesswork at this point so I won't get too much into it but very interesting to see this scene here with this goddess holding this horned animal's head as you can see in the picture to the right it's theirs now their tomb now this scene right here is pretty important because we can tell right there that that trap is a submarine propeller which means that uh Part of this map is going to be underwater. There's a place for submarines to be worked on or built or launched from a pad. So there's definitely going to be an underground slash underwater portion of this map, which I think is really cool. We got planes, we got submarines, we got lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. We can also see right here in this scene that Dr. Straub's office makes a comeback. I'm super excited about that because I've been obsessed with exploring his office. So it's nice to see some continuity in the map. Now, if you guys didn't already know, most of the big YouTubers already spoiled it through data mining. But yes, there is a chainsaw type blade melee weapon in the map. And you'll see it right here. You have no idea what you are up against. And there you have the rest of the trailer, guys. Now, there's plenty of other things I can kind of break down and, and nitpick on that map, but then it would be a 30-minute video. Nobody would watch the whole goddamn thing anyway, and half of you guys probably don't even give a shit about my opinion. But I will say this from what I've watched. I've probably watched this trailer a hundred times now, frame by frame, and I will make this prediction. Klaus gets turned into some kind of super zombie slash boss fight. From some of the clips that I seen and some of the frames that I was able to pull up, Klaus looks like he's getting torn apart at the beginning of the video, and you get little snippets and little half frames here and there of Klaus being transformed into a zombie. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make this prediction. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but I'm letting you guys know now. I'm sticking with that theory until launch day. We'll see what happens, but Klaus gets turned into a super zombie. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. Let me know if you're pumped for DLC 1. I know I am. As long as I don't see any big YouTubers playing it early, I think I'll be happy. Hit that like, comment, subscribe button down below. Show your boy some love. In the meantime, you guys take it easy. Peace. These odd bullets I'll have to resort to stabbing. <laughs>